there's one more topic in section four that I want to discuss, and that's um, this idea of a function having holes in it. Um, and it's kind of related to vocabulary that appeared, appeared earlier in the section. That was uh, a discontinuous function and a continuous function. Uh, our book defined a discontinuous function as a function whose graph has one or more gaps or breaks. Um, so, you know, if you think about, you know, some of the previous functions we just did, these, these asymptotes are total breaks, right? I'm moving along this spot, and coming along this way, and then there's no connection between this point and the point way up here where it picks up again and moves on, right? So this asymptote is representing a break in continuity of this function. So that's a discontinuous function. Um, as opposed to a lot of the continuous functions we've seen before, right? So if you look at a nice um, quadratic like a parabola, it's very much a continuous function. Uh, now, sometimes we can have a, a moment of this, uh, a place where a function is discontinuous because of a hole in it. So if I look at this particular function f of x, you know, that numerator is the difference of two squares. It's x minus 3 times x plus 3, and it's all over x minus 3. When, when I look at this, right, there's a, a common factor of x minus 3 I can cancel out. So a simplified form of this function f of x is uh, x plus 3. And that's useful for graphing this function because I definitely have a y-intercept at 3. Um, and then I just go up 1 over 1 from there, right? Up 1 over 1 and then down 1, back 1, down 1, back 1, down 1, back 1. But one of the problems that I have is when x equals 3 right here, right? When x equals 1, 2, 3, when x equals 3, there needs to be a hole in that function at that point. And the reason why is because that value doesn't make sense in the original function, right? If I was to plug in x equals 3, I'd get division by 0. The function's not defined at that point. So even though we're dealing with a simplified version of the function, it still needs to satisfy the function that we were given, right? The function that we started with, because that function is the one that's doing the, the work that you need. Anyways, bottom line is just make sure that you include this information about this function actually being discontinuous at that point. There's a small hole there, and the holes always show up um, because of division by zero, right? So it's just a matter of looking at um, your places in your denominator. Actually, our book's real specific. You only have a hole. Um, in a function if you've got the same exact factors in both the numerator and denominator. So because this simplified it, it had an x minus 3 factor and an x minus 3 in the factor in both numerator and denominator, uh, that x equals positive 3 uh, was where the hole was at. So that's pretty much the only time that you're going to see a hole is when you have identical factors in both the numerator and the denominator.